Welcome back everyone, I'm your Gibbs and we're back for more casual adventures. This is Death Under Tuscan Skies. This is the second in the Dana Nightstone novel series, so we're going to go ahead and get cracking on this one. Uh, if this game was made by Boom Zap, and uh, so yes, I've already recorded this one to death at varying point, and I've actually recorded a couple of newer ones as well. I'm starting to like these folks, the Boom Zap group seems to be putting together some great games. I've always wanted to play the Awakening series, I just haven't had a chance yet. I do own like the first three or so. Maybe one day I'll force myself to play the Awakening series, but uh, look, I really need to get into that. This music is wonderful. It's very Italian. So yes, we are ready to go, so let's start the game. We'll go ahead and hit the casual button. Here I am, Dana Nightstone, flying off to Italy on a new adventure. I like adventure. My last novel sold quite well, so I was able to take a break from my writing. A university in Tuscany invited me to be a guest speaker on literature, and I accepted. I was hoping for a quiet and peaceful vacation. Little did I know what mysteries the university had in store for me. From the moment I stepped into the library that first night, I had a strange feeling that things would not go as planned. Chapter 1, the University in Luca, Lucia, I don't know how you pronounce that, somewhere in Italy. Would you like to play the tutorial? Wow, I usually uh, hit yes for all these, but uh, mm, sure, let's go. The speech bubble icon lets you speak to a person. Let's talk to the professor. Ah, signoria? Signor? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, my Italian obviously is almost 0%. It's great to finally meet you. I'm Professor Romano. Thank you for accepting our invitation. How was your flight? Oh, by the way, I received your message about the books you requested. I listed all their call numbers on a piece of paper behind the counter. I wish I could stay, but I still have some paperwork to finish. I'll meet you in the literature section later. But don't stay up too late. Okay, ciao. The magnifying glass icon lets you zoom in on an area. Click on the reception desk to take a closer look. There's a list of call numbers the professor mentioned. Click on it to place it in your notebook. Be sure to check it often. It contains important clues. Alright, that's fine. Hand icon lets you pick up useful items. Click on the key card to take it. Uh, what's going on with the... Oh, hello! <laughs> Looks like we have some ghosties. Move your cursor anywhere outside of the zoom window until you see the exit icon. Oh, I see that? That's neat. Don't have to click the little X in the corner. Alright, so we're gonna go here. The blue bar below is your inventory, and it's fixed, which is beautiful. Pick up the keycard and slide it in. There we go. Indicator is green. It means I can retrieve the card now. I get to get it back. Cool. Your current goals are listed here. You can show or hide that list anytime by clicking the goals button. What is the? Is this the goals button? Yes, it is. Uh, look for a book suggested by the professor. I missed the rest of it. Find your way into the literature section. Here's my journal. Yes, very good. I really liked the journal in the last uh, Nightstone game. And yeah, there'll be a link for that if you guys want to watch the first one. Just look in the description and you can have a link to the first Nightstone. Which I really enjoyed. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, Alright, cool. Oh, I like the way you can actually watch the cutscenes over again. That's kind of nice. And people. This is kind of neat too. Very well done. Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and go in there. Woo, to the main library? Ah! What was this? Come for a ride. Oh, I need three of those human figurines. Let's see, medical section to the left, or literature section to the right. Uh, I'll take a paper clip, because we're going to have to hack into a door. Let's see. 
see what we got here. It's pretty dark there. I'd rather go not go downstairs without some light. Look at that, 1611. That's kind of crazy. Uh, what do we have here? I don't have time to fiddle with the circuit breakers at the moment. Okay, another creepy ghost. That was the big theme in the first game. She would see ghosts. Yikes! Is anyone there? It's probably just my imagination. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's not your imagination. Alright, so we are in the literature section. What do we have here? Seems to be a memorial for something or someone. Desk here. Another human figurine. I could use this table study this study table for my research. Blank paper. Ink pad is dry. You can put some ink there. Nice coffee cup. Oh speaking of which, I should take a little bit of a drink. Alrighty then. The Leaning Tower of Pisa? Oh, I should go to Italy one day. The only places I've been in Europe are Germany and Belgium. That's the only two places. Alright, let's look here. It's locked. Well, you know what? I have a wonderful paperclip. Get in there and jimmy that open. We have some figurines here. Looks like we have this here. Whoa! The books should be somewhere here. I need to find them using their call numbers. Okay, let's get that to you. HA29. This one. What else? HE88. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. HE... Is it this one? Yep, and HA29A5. Hey, we did... Oh, hello! Hi! What the? We definitely got some ghosts in here. Some serious business. Oh no, find him! Oh my god, that's so creepy. Okay, we will. Is that blood? I think that's blood. Good grief. It's blood. Do I, I don't get the bloody handkerchief. There it is. A ghost appeared to me from behind the bookshelf. She seemed sad and left a bloodied handkerchief that said, find him. Who is she referring to? Yeah, there was quite the love triangle in the first game. It's quite intriguing. Uh, I don't know if the statues are supposed to go here. Yeah, they are. Yay! Eva Leone. Leone? Okay. What are we doing here? I, I can change these symbols on the shields and the colors of the crowns. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, I see, okay. It's red, so... I'll match that up, make this yellow. Green. Orange. And purple. Okay, now how do I do this? Oh, I bet you it matches with here. Is <laughs> what is this? Would it be a fish? Bubbles? In memory of Eva Leone. Did she that's the lady that's got the Oh that's a feather, okay. Yeah, I bet you that Eva is the lady that is the ghost. I'm gonna assume there's a bubbles for the fish. Let's assume that yeah, there you go. Excellent. Ooh, looking good. Who is this fella? Is this who the ghost? I missed what she said. Poor newspaper. Well done. All right, take the stamp too. Uh, what does it say? It's in Italian. It looks like to me. Okay, let's go over here and stamp it. There you go. Bam. Morte e Tosconi. I think that means death, doesn't it? Morte? Guessing. 
Hello there, Mr. Handsome. Ms. Nightstone, are you alright? I thought I heard you calling. Oh, Morte in Tuscany. That sounds like a title of a book. The card catalog in the reception area would have that on file. Alright, well, let's go to the card catalog in... Oh, the gentleman's sitting here. He's in our spot. I guess he's keeping it warm for us, is he? Right, what do we have here? Torn newspaper. Hmm. We're gonna have to turn the lights on over here eventually, I'm sure of it. Okay, card catalog. What do you got for me? Oh boy. The labels are all mixed up. Luckily, there are old stickers here that I can use as a guide. Uh... Okay. Thinking maybe these two. Looks that looks legit to me. The music is just uh, grooving in the background here. So this is blue and red. And this one is green and blue. This one is yellow and blue. Green. Oh, here we go. That one was there. This one's got a whole whack of stuff. Dun, dun. Oh, this one. That one. Okay, which one's missing? One of them is missing. This one. It's my eyeballs that aren't adjusting very well. And then we've got this one. Where does this one go? Oh, here you go. We... I think we got it. Yes, we got it. Oh, I like that puzzle. That was fun. Open up the drawer. Ah, this is it. Whoa, what is this? A murder weapon? What is that? P28E37. Medieval. Oh, medical section. Okay. Letter opener. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a murder weapon. I think we're gonna have to go in here and turn the lights on. Now can I do it? Yes, we can! What is this all about? Seems loose. Let's jimmy it open with the letter opener. Oh no. There are numbers etched everywhere. One of these must be the correct code. Really? Really, game? What are the chances of it being the second one? It's never the first one. One, oh, one, oh, one. No? Alright, how about the third one? <laughs> We're gonna have to do this brute forest, I guess. And then we've got zero, one, one, zero, one. Okay, how about the next one? What do you guys want to talk about? Let's talk about things while we work on brute forcing this puzzle. No, is that this one? No, that doesn't look like that one at all. What am I doing? Should be one, zero. Oh, did you hear a click? That one clicked too. Oh, maybe that's how I know. No, that one didn't click. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I think it was the fourth one on the left that I did. Because I was working my way down. Let there be light. Alright, let's go to the main library. All sorts of good stuff here. Ooh, a ladder. Throw that in my backpack. Nothing beats carrying around a ladder. They definitely got a vibe for things Italian. I don't know. It's never been there, but that's the sense I get. Needs a key. What do we have here? There's some kind of a mechanism here. It's full of cobwebs. What do we have here? Ah, we can get in here. That's the medical department. Everything's all locked up in here, isn't it? 
before we go to the medical department, let's just have a peek here. The door release button is out of order. Okay, let's go in here. Now, what did it say? We wanted P28. So, before I do that, let's just have a little look see here. Hello! Numbered knobs. Okay. I guess that's it. A round shaped object is missing here. Okay, get in there then. Can't reach it, okay. There we go. Morte in Pasconte. Whoa, someone has been researching about deadly illness. Let's check the markings on the page. Oh, this is cool. Come on. Oh, I just gotta do it like this? Okay. I was thinking about uh, a game I recently had to play. Uh, Theater of the Absurd. And that was uh, kind of neat. You had to drag these little discs onto the page and kind of match that way. Neat. Oh, this looks f something different. Star, we should be able to find that. Skull, looks like. Yep. How many do I have to do? Game? Tooth? Nail? Oh wait, we should be able to find that. There we go. And this one here. Uh, why can I not see that? Is there only one page? Going crazy here. Oh yeah, that, no, that's not it either. Oh wow. Okay, there we go, there's a molecule thing. How many do we have to do? Good grief. <sighs> it's non-stop. I don't know what else- Oh, there it is, there. Man, that was a tough one for me. And that's part of the DNA. There we go. Two more to go. Don't know where this one is. Or this one. That looks like brain. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and hint the last one. What's the tooth, is it? Okay, cool. We have all these bits and pieces. Ooh, a key. Small iron key. C4? Okay. No, there was no key here. We probably have to go back, I'm guessing. And... This is it here, I think. Yay! Oh boy. <laughs> what are we doing here? Arrange the medicine bottles according to the diagram on the left. Um... Okay. See if I guess we should get purple up here. And this is all numerical stuff. Red is E. Oh wow. Let's see. C is. Uh, see if we can get the red one here, anyways. But I think that's it there for red which is E. D is blue. Green is B. Orange is C. Orange. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like this. Green. Blue. Where's blue? I think that's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, th oh, no, this is wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oranges. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Blue. One, two, three, four. There we go, folks. We did it. We move the medicine jars around and around. Oh, I'll take this one. Oh, another eyeball. Yay. We know exactly where that needs to go. Mr. Stretch over here. Here's your eyeball back, buddy. Oh, they work? That's a little creepy. Eva, I'm sorry it has to be like this. There's no other choice. You must trust me in this. Love, GC. Find the book. Goodness gracious. It's Gary of Perzorzi Medica. What is that? Do I have to go back to the card catalog thing at the front? That's my guess is what I have to do. Once I figure out how to get there. No? Or not? Find the book. Should be in the medical area. Full of cobwebs. Alright, so it's not here. Is it by... How am I supposed to find this book? Okay, never mind. I found the book. This is it. Indeed. Drag them... What? What am I doing? Another note. Eva, meet me in the garden. I will explain everything. Whoa. bit of fresh air would not hurt. I don't know how to get into the garden. Oh, we can use a screwdriver. Gotta do each one, one by one. We're gonna use our electrical skills here. Oh boy. What do we have here? Hmm. The pieces on the circuit board are disconnected. Oh no. <laughs> Good grief. Are you crazy? How am I supposed to do this? Okay, I guess we'll start to do it from the top, maybe? I don't know. We'll see how this works. And then we'll do it uh, one row at a time. Let's see. Use some strategy. This looks like this is upside down. Yep. Oh, this is actually not bad. I can deal with this. I can totally deal with this. It's just a little bit time consuming, but eh, all I've got is time. Cool. Oh, oh man, I was so close. There we go. Other than that, just taking a bit of time, this is actually not bad. I can get this. Not complaining. Gibbs doesn't complain about puzzles, does he? Nah. All right, we fixed it. We're doing a little bit of uh, electronics here. Look at that. Five mini games without skipping. Not bad, Gibbs. Not bad. Match the circuit paths by turning on the switch? Uh-oh. What does this mean? I gotta follow the path? Okay, so that one goes there. Whoa, that's kind of crazy, actually. Alrighty then. This is actually where all the hardship comes, does it? Try number two. Yay! I guess I can just flick these all on, right? Do, 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 do. I guess we're gonna have to use them all. You know, I love circuit puzzles. If you haven't seen some other games, I am a big fan of mathematical puzzles and electrical puzzles. What I'm not a big fan of is spinny puzzles. Those ones I don't like. But I survive. And then last but not least, excellent. Cool. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll pause the video here and we'll see you in the next one. I'm your Gibbs and thanks for watching. 
Death Other. <laughs> Let's try and get the name right. Death Under Tuscan Skies. Bye for now.